6 minus 6 times 6 plus 6. Looks simple, right? But depending on how you solve it, you might get 0 or 6. Got one of those answers? Totally fine. A lot of people do. Let's see how those results show up and then nail the correct solution. Some people group the sixes and force parentheses where they don't belong. They do six minus six, which is zero, and six plus six, which is 12. Then they multiply those results together, zero times 12, and say, that's zero. Quick and confident, but totally wrong. Others go straight from left to right. They do six minus six equals zero, then zero times six equals zero, and finally zero plus six equals six. It looks logical, but math doesn't really work that way. So what's really happening here? It all comes down to the order of operations, often remembered as P-E-M-D-A-S or B-O-D-M-A-S. That stands for parentheses or brackets first, then exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. And here's the key rule many people forget. When two operations share the same level, like multiplication and division, you always move from left to right. The same holds for addition and subtraction. Left to right, always. Now let's solve it properly. In the expression six minus six times six plus six, with no parentheses or exponents, we start with multiplication. Six times six equals 36. Now the problem becomes six minus 36 plus six. Subtraction and addition are equal in rank, so we go left to right. Six minus 36 equals negative 30 then negative 30 plus 6 equals negative 24. And that's the correct answer. Negative 24. So if your answer was 0 or 6, don't worry. You were on the right track. You just skipped the rule that keeps math fair. What was your first answer before watching? Drop it in the comments. And hey, if you enjoy solving problems like this, make sure to subscribe for more fun math challenges.